Okay, today the video, um, I almost got it, so I ma I'm making an update on it. Maybe uh, someone can learn something as well. Um, uh, Mr. Ass Spike, um, I'll put a little link on there. He helped me a few times, so I like to credit him also to give me some advice on that. Um, when if you see my other videos I actually made this here and that actually keeps the heat in but as you know many people use a stainless steel bowl and I wasn't able to get clean burn until today you will see a little white smoke still coming through here, but that's the only thing that you will see, it's white smoke. But it's only a little bit. What I've learned is that this pipe here has to be consistent with where these are. Or else you were not going to get the clean burn like here. So that pipe, your air pipe is very important. And as your drip is important, and like I said before, uh, the guy that I talked to, if you notice, if I look at, lift this up, it's red hot, and see how the change is now? So as you can see, that's very important. But now look at there's no, there's no smoke coming out. If I lift this up a little bit higher than it is, you see a little extra smoke gonna come out in a minute let me put that back so it won't change a lot the the air that height is very important and you would have to find your adjustments on that your drip is also important because you don't want too much if it's too much oil um, it will smoke up so I can't lower it but I can raise it if you if I raise that if you look on the side there you can see a little smoke now coming I will go outside in a minute to take the chimney so you can see the difference on the chimney as well so now it's being raised up a little bit and you can see it's it didn't change much because it's only raised up like maybe I don't know 10 uh, 10 millimeter that won't make any difference if you lower it a little bit, you will make a difference. I would not suggest to go anything lower than one inch. That's a no-no. As you can see here, I'll pan out a little bit. I have tested so many things to get the burn correctly, to get the clean burn just like most people like. But you can see it's still a little bit there. So right now, it's a temporary setup. You can see my oil coming through there, and I just have a little drip, uh, a valve right there, and then it goes into there, and then my fan. I have a fan that goes through there. It's on the side there. I'm just, I put this metal here in case, because I have uh, these used boxes that I put around so the oil doesn't get onto them. And you will need something like that so you can dispose them. Uh, if you have them around, just put them like I did and tape them or whatever, but that's what I did and it does help. I did have a little spillage right here. Like most people, I call my, I, that's my IP, uh, my BP, um, uh, oil spillage. Anyway, um, so if you are doing this and you've seen this video, that's what I've learned and I've learned that also too your container has to be contained really good or else you won't get that that thing hot if you look at it see how red it is underneath there that is very important so make sure make sure that is red hot before you turn your fan on because you know like they always want you to vaporize the oil and that's the secret to it um, anyway so now I was able to get almost 
I would say about 90 right now because you can see little white smoke left. Um, if this was cold, you would see white smoke coming out. I think that's just um, uh, vapor from like uh, winter or moisture vapor. So when you first start up, you will see a little bit and then it'll stop. So that's another thing that you have to put into consideration as well. Uh, once you perfect this, once you see the level of your thing, you will know. And adjusting your oil too, that's another important. But if you add too much oil, you will smoke up. If you get less oil, then it won't burn enough heat for you. So, in beginning, you have to sit there and actually study how it behave, study how your fan behave, and study the height of your air pipe. That also can a big consideration as well. Anyway, I'm going to pause this video and I'm going to show you the chimney outside. Okay, this is the video of my chimney. As you can see, there's nothing there. Once in a while, you will see those white smoke will escape, but that's it. On the startup, you will see black smoke. Once you reach up high enough, you won't see it any further. But that's how it looks like. I'm gonna leave it for a little bit, and it's burning right now. I don't know if you can hear the rumbling. But you see nothing. So I was able to get it to clean burn. Nothing still. And you can see just a little bit. Like I said, I got up to 90. I would say 90. 90%. Although I'm not happy yet because I'm a perfectionist. But that's what it looks like. I'm going to pause the video and go back again. Okay, so I'm back again. And as you can see, I left the door open just for that. Um, just for testing. And if you look up a little bit, you'll see a little white smoke. Just a little bit. And sometimes you can see it comes right out right here. See right there, right there. But that's just the white smoke. That's it. That's all you're going to get. Now, I put this here so that way I won't get any stuff flying out or whatever, just in case. Um, I have a reclaimer here. It's on a thermal disc. And it kicks in. It's not too hot right now. I haven't permanently put these in yet because I'm actually waiting for a part. Uh, a, an elbow that doesn't have all these stuff so I won't have to breathe any of this stuff it's only like um, $40 so and now I'm back to here I'm trying to catch this white stuff see that right there those little white smoke that I'm talking about you can close this you can close the door so you don't have to worry about them but I left it open because I don't want to uh, I want you guys to see I want you guys to see the the white smoke that I was talking about but as far as experimenting and as far as I see a little bit your oil is uh, your, your dripping rate is, 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 is it might be the contribution to that which I didn't know either so as far as I know, this was a big learning experiment for me, playing with this thing. Uh, my next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put uh, bolts in there. Because pe uh, there was this guy told me to put some bolts in there. I tried it with um, these coil right here, but they break apart because they get so brittle through the, um, through the heat. Because you have to remember, this is extreme heat. 
It gets so hot that it actually melts some of it. If I lift it up, you'd be able to see them. Look at that. That got melted. That was actually a coil. And look what happened to that coil now. Oops. Whoa, it's a little hot. So, my next thing is I'm going to do is going to put some bolts in there. And see all these carbon chunks? You get a lot of them. That's one thing about burning oil. And few people mention that. Carbon, carbon, carbon. But once you get it to clean burn, you don't you don't see a lot of carbon. Like I said, I am about 80-90% in now. Still perfecting. But like I said, as long as you get this to a certain height. You will get what you want. So perfecting that is very important. As I've noticed. Um, I have to jack this up just a little bit more. But like I said, you have to find yours. Because if the pipe that you're using. If you're using bigger pipe, smaller pipe, whatever. That will be your thing next. So... I hope, I hope you learned something from this. My oil is about to run out. And also to my burning rate. Um, every half a pint. It lasts me a half a pint I believe. Let me double check. Up to here. Oh actually one and a half pint. It lasts me about an hour. That's my drip rate. Um, and that's pretty high. But if I do it lower, I probably can get it to about one pint an hour. Just like most people. Um, a pint an hour. Uh, some people burn even higher than that. They get about two pint an hour. But for me, I don't need that much right now. So... That's what I go through. Uh, but anyway, I hope this video will help you uh, further if you ever built one of these. But please remember, uh, the important thing is the height of the air. That's what I couldn't figure it out. And now I'm able to figure that out. The height of the air is very important. And... Um, I go this way because look, I can adjust right here. See how the pipe I adjust? So I can actually move back and forth to, to, to center my my piping as well. That's another important thing too. Um, so I guess I'm going to end this video for now. Once I have everything all done, I'll do one more. But um, so far, that's what I've learned. And I hope this video will be helpful to someone.